Hi, I'm Dr. Asad Khalid, and I'm the Orthopedics and Sports Medicine Specialist here at Oneida Health. Thanks for choosing us for your orthopedic care. You are either about to have surgery or have just had surgery on your knee, and this video is going to go through the post-operative instruction on how to achieve the best possible outcome following your knee surgery. The first things to look out for after your surgery are the warning signs, and these warning signs include the following. Excessive bleeding or pus-like drainage at the incision site, uncontrollable pain not relieved by pain medication, excessive swelling or redness at the incision site, fever above 101.5 degrees that is not controlled with Tylenol or Motrin, shortness of breath or severe calf pain, and any foul odor or blistering from the surgery site. If you are experiencing any of these symptoms, please do not hesitate to give our office a call 24-7. If you are experiencing any medical emergencies, please go to your nearest emergency room. Pain management is an essential component to your post-operative recovery, and our goal here is to minimize the amount of pain you feel after surgery, while also minimizing the amount of narcotics used after surgery. You will be prescribed certain medications after surgery to help you with your pain. Some of these medications contain narcotics or opioid medications, and these should be used sparingly and should be weaned as soon as possible. The medication and or the anesthesia may also cause you to be nauseous and vomit after surgery. You will be prescribed medication to help assist with this as well. You may have been given a regional nerve block by anesthesia service before or after your surgery. This will cause the area of the surgery to be numb for about 24 to 36 hours. It is important that you take your pain medication before the numbness wears off to better control your pain. You may have also been sent home with a cryotherapy unit and a TENS unit. These are important adjunctive treatments to better control your pain without the use of medication. You can use these as tolerated. It's important that you take the pain medication as prescribed and be careful with how much Tylenol you are consuming along with the narcotic medication as these also contain Tylenol. You should not take more than three grams of Tylenol in a 24 hour period. Pain is an expected part of your post-operative course and may not be completely controlled 100%. However, excruciating pain that is uncontrollable with the measures that we talked about is an issue. Please call our office if you're having pain that cannot be controlled. When it comes to icing your operative site or using the cold therapy unit you may have been prescribed, please use it as instructed. This would likely be 20 minutes on or 20 minutes off and please do not sleep with the cold therapy on as this can cause burns to your skin. This brings us to diet and activity. It's normal to be a little nauseous after your surgery. And if you are feeling nauseous, please start eating a bland diet and then progress to your regular diet from there. It is also normal to have a little constipation while taking your narcotic medicine. And if you're feeling constipated, please take over-the-counter colates, 100 milligrams, twice a day. Please try to limit your activity during the first 48 hours after your surgery, as this is when you'll be feeling the most pain and have the most swelling afterwards. You're probably wondering, when can I shower at this point? And the answer is day three after your surgery but it's very important that you keep your incisions dry. And to help do this, please place waterproof bandages over the operative site. And we also recommend that you use plastic saran wrap over the operative site. If you notice any redness or foul drainage coming from the incision, again, please give us a call. If you have a splint or a cast, this cannot get wet. If you're going to try to bathe with a splint or a cast, you need to cover it with a bag and keep it out of water. You may have been prescribed physical therapy before and after your surgery. This is an essential component to your recovery as they will be there with you every step of the way on your recovery after your surgery. The most common mistake that patients can make after surgery is not following the instructions we just talked about. Every instruction and every piece of advice has its own purpose and they're all essential to helping you achieve the best possible outcome after your surgery. So this is a typical dressing after knee surgery. You'll see here a long white compression stocking. It's called a TED hose. This can stay on for as long as needed, but at least two weeks after your surgery. The longer you keep this on, the better. This TED stocking is designed to keep you from getting a DVT or a blood clot in your calf and will also help with the swelling from the surgery. You can also see here four wires coming out of the stocking. These are the sterile electrodes that will go to your TENS unit. All you have to do is hook it in here and hit play for as long as you want. When you're changing the dressing on day three after your surgery, all you need to do is roll down the stocking and you'll see a big bulky bandage come off, which is okay. You can throw this away and you'll see underneath a waterproof dressing already over the incision if we did an open part to your surgery. You may not have this if you do not have an open part of the surgery, but if you do, this can stay on until you come back to see us and does not need to be changed. You may notice two smaller incisions around the kneecap that are have some nylon black suture on them. These can be covered with a waterproof dressing that you can get over the counter at any pharmacy, just like this. As long as you make sure that the incision is covered, you can shower with these dressings on. After you're done showering, make sure the incisions are cut nice and clean and dry, and just simply roll the stocking back up over the top. 
So this has been your guide to the post-operative instructions after knee surgery. If you have any questions about anything mentioned in the video, please give us a call. And thank you for watching.